வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி பின் லுக்கிங் அட் பேசிக் டெர்மினாலஜிஸ் இன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் ஹவு வி கேன் கன்சிடர் த ஹியூமன் பாடி ஆஸ் அ பயோமெக்கானிக்கல் சிஸ்டம் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் பி ஃபோக்கஸிங் ஆன் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் தட் ஹேப்பன் இன் த கொரோனல் பிளேன் இஃப் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ஹேப்பனிங் இன் த கொரோனல் பிளேன் தீஸ் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் மஸ்ட் ஹேப்பன் அபவுட் an axis that goes from the back of the body to the front of the body or from the front of the body to the back of the body in other words these movements are happening in this plane about an axis that is passing through this plane so what is this axis this is the antero posterior axis this plane is called as the frontal plane or the coronal plane and the movement is happening about the antero posterior axis what kind of movements this any movement that takes a particular segment of the body away from the midline is called as abduction so i am having my arms like this i am moving my shoulder like that now my shoulder has or my arm my whole arm has moved such that it has moved away from the midline like this it has moved away from the midline that means it is called abduction now when i am moving back from this position back to the original anatomical reference position such that is it is coming closer to the midline it is called adduction how can you remember the two because other than the second letter which is b in the case of abduction and d in the case of adduction the rest of the spelling remains the same how can you remember to abduct means to kidnap or to take away when you take a particular part of the body away from the midline that is to abduct okay i am doing that that is abduct abduct means to take away this is how you remember otherwise it will be confusing because when we are solving problems i will say this is abducted at this angle this part of the body is flexed at, at this angle then you will have to visualize that posture right so abduct means to kidnap or to take away that means it is moving away from the midline okay the other one is called adduction of course while you are speaking to avoid confusion sometimes people say ab duction and ad duction but that is not really necessary you can say abduction and adduction or you can also say ab duction and ad duction that's not uh, so critical but it is critical to remember which is abduction and which is adduction abduction means to take away right so that is the shoulder abduction and shoulder adduction for example likewise at the hip abduction reduction i can do like that like you may not be able to see I'm doing the hip abduction reduction can i do elbow abduction reduction it turns so that that is not so easy because my elbow is a hinge joint it has only the flexion extension that happens in a different plane i am interested in trying to make a movement in the frontal plane right in the coronal plane uh, that is not i the only movement that i can make is at the shoulder at the elbow i am not able to do this this movement right i i'm doing i'm saying this but this is actually a flexion extension movement i'm doing like this okay in other words at the elbow there is only one degree of freedom it is not moving in the adduction adduction direction at all okay then i can also make this movement no i can also at the wrist i can make that movement versus this movement now because this movement is taking the taking the body taking the segment away from the midline i can call this as what is this this is abduction and this is adduction but again you know that's not how they are called like i said in biology exception is the rule this is called shoulder abduction and shoulder adduction but this at the wrist a movement that brings the thumb closer to the radial bone of the forearm this is the radial bone. right this is the ulnar bone 
the bone that is closer to the little finger on the side of the little finger is the ulnar bone is ulna right? the bone that is on the thumb side is called as the radial bone right? when i am moving my wrist such that the thumb is moving closer to the radial bone is called it's called radial deviation you would normally call it as abduction but it's called radial deviation when i am doing that for example such that the little finger moves closer to the actually i'm finding it difficult to say in the flexed position when you in the in the anatomical reference position it's easier to show like that right that is radial deviation when i am doing that such that the little finger is closer to the ulna it's called ulna deviation okay the movement that moves the thumb closer to the radius is called radial deviation and the movement that moves the little finger closer to the ulna is called ulna deviation okay what would otherwise be called as abduction and adduction right remember we had a similar situation in the case of the flexion extension of the ang ankle remember we had a similar situation in the case of the flexion and extension of the ankle joint right we call that as plantar flexion and dorsiflexion right likewise we now have this radial deviation and ulnar deviation in biology the beauty is in remembering the details and the exceptions right what other movements are there right elevation a movement that happens in the superior direction right and a movement that happens in the inferior direction right that movement you know i am opening my mouth like that my mandible is you know going down that is the depression of the mandible okay i am closing my mouth and my mandible is going and closing right going up it's called as elevation then what else about the coronal uh, about the or in the coronal plane right about the anterior posterior axis what other movements are happening what other rotations can happen right we said these likewise abduction adduction likewise hip abduction adduction anything else you can also make a movement within um the foot that when it moves towards the inside tilt the sole of the foot towards the midline of the body suppose this is the foot and you tilt it towards the midline of the body now that happens that is the inversion and when you do that away from the midline of the body it's called eversion although these movements are not discussed in detail just mentioning this so with this we come to the end of this video in this video we saw some movements that happen within the coronal plane thank you very much for your attention